Hi guys, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about how to build the custom connectors and all the stuffs. In this video, let's build our own custom connector, right? I will show you how I will I did the step by step. Okay, you know that to build the custom connector, you need a two step process. One is connector SDK build, and second one is connector template build, right? So what I did and what I will show as output in this simple demo, right? In this video, I have a process, right? So in the first step, I have one of the connector which I built it by my own. You can see that the name is Techbus Blocks uh, REST connector. And second, I'm going to call one of the my Spring Boot application job worker to print that the response whatever is coming from this connector. Okay, this is a very simple step. I take it forward to show you the demo for you guys. Okay. So first let's try to understand how to build this. Okay. For this, let me go to the Kamunda documentation. Okay. So to do build the two step process. One is connected templates. You know that, right? So if you are going to build the connected templates, right? First step. So you can go simply in this link building custom connector band. You can see the connected template. And if you go here, they are, they are having very good documentation right if i click on these links right from the element links you can go and see that how they build the json schema and everything see this is the 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 sample json schema they provided to build a simple connector template basically okay so what are the methods and how this stuffs okay so if you want to see that uh, some real example as well you can go and see that see here connect the template configuration right so if you go down you can see that with uh, connector ele element feature also and you can see some of the examples available in the github right so you can go and see that line by line these all are one element basically right so you can find it so whatever is matching with your requirement you can place it okay so what i did is right in my connector build so let me go to my first one okay so this is my connector techbus plus rest connector so how i created is go to create new click on the connector template once i click on the connector template right you will see this empty panel right so now you can upload the icon which you want to place it for your connector okay maybe i will open the new tab and i will show you how i did that okay so now i am just opening the tech bus from my connector right and so this is the new connector which we just clicked on it right so you can see here so the highlighted part right it will be almost same right and so here you can see the new connector template you can change edit name so that it will be changed automatically okay then you can go and upload the icon here so once you uploaded the icon you can see that icon is placed here okay as well as the property was uploaded here as well so if, if you scroll down my whole connector see this is my icon image maybe some some big image name okay don't don't get confused but when you are doing right so i can't condense this is the image basically okay so you you can do your own image uploading for your icon as a first step okay second what you can what i did actually if you go here so this is the basic stuff right i am going to treat this element as this connector as one of the service task right so where i am going to do all the logics now what i have to do i have i have to prepare this all the properties right so whatever properties you you are seeing in the right side you, i have to prepare it but if you go here which you cl click newly you don't see any of the properties right only four properties are there now to build other properties like authentication endpoint connector timeout output outbound mapping error handling i am creating the group for that right so this group will be these header headers basically inside the group you can see that the authentication having the type as a inside parameters right so each group right so the this each group will have the properties basically if you go here this is my group id authentication 
so inside the properties right inside these properties outside these properties we need to create groups then inside the properties i need to go and create each type for example if you take it as an example here i i have the first element as type right it is having the none worth 2.0 barrier token basic and apk so these i am putting is under the choices this is very simple json right if you are aware of the json format you can easily generate this right understanding this main property values right so id i am giving so this should be interlinked with your group so based on this group field right authentication and type this is my id and so the type should be it is coming from the label right and so value by default there is no none of the none values there then you can see that choices right as a this type is going to be a drop down and inside that i am going to mention this is one of the zb input right so then all the properties i am adding it so automatically those will be populated here okay so the same way you need to do for other stuff as well for example http client if you go you have add multiple methods right so if if i go to the http client maybe these and all some of the authentication so when you are choosing this right so basic means it will be populated the username as uh, this so these all the logics are available okay so api key means it will be showing different different parameter these all i am configured here okay so let me go to the next properties method right so you can see that http end client right so now the group should be group should be endpoint yes okay and the label will be http endpoint and group will be endpoint if you remember if you go up right so this is your uh, id and level so this group i configured in the down right and i am making again the drop down uh, keeping all the properties right so get post put patch right so so this is the way so all the properties i defined it basically okay once i defined that i go and publish to this specific project tech blocks project or i can publish to my own organization which will be my this tech blocks blocks this organization name right so where i want to publish it once i publish it right once i publish it it will it will be available when wherever you are going it so for example once i publish it if i go and create one bpm and diagram just assume that okay in this bpm and diagram i am going to create when i am changing the element if i scroll down right i can able to see all other connectors the same way in the last i can able to see my own connector as well tech bus rest connector right so i can choose this as well once i publish there i can able to see this template wherever you go and create your bpm and right under the projects publish or organization publish whatever it may be okay so that's all you done the first step of the process i mean uh, the the building the custom connector you you generated the, your templates nicely right so now templates is available now you just assume in that the purpose of the template why we build at that right so first first template uh, maybe let me go to my my bpm and file connector testing right so you you know that right in the initial i show you the purpose of this is first i am going to hit one of the rest endpoint i mean one of the endpoint so passing as a target url at dynamically and this response i am sending i am sending from here and getting it as part of my job worker that is my end goal correct so now this design was done okay so whenever people are passing this url this parameter as input what i need to do in the back end right so that purpose what you need you what you have to do you know that right we need to build the connector sdk our logic we need to build it right let's move to the second step okay now what i am going to do so to build the second step again i will show you so come on the documentation you can click on connector sdk you can go to this outbound right setup to build the setup i am going to do the outbound connector so i am going outbound okay so this code i can simply download it 
this is the template you you know that right this is a template in the last video i explained you so what is this template all about right so how to run it and everything now i just downloaded and imported into my intellij okay so and this is my connector code okay maybe let's close all the opened item to avoid confusion okay so now this is the count downloaded one so i'm going to do few changes right i'm going to call one of the rest endpoints right so for that what i'm going to do first in the pom.xml i added the spring web so that i can use that rest endpoint rest template right so now i'm going to my java code is this is my connector function right so here first change i did it right so this is the type i changed it this type is coming from if you go to my connector right uh, maybe yeah so you, you design the template and you are going to write a java code there should be some relation should be there right that relation is that type whatever the type i shown you right just now so this this type right so for that in the designing part when you are designing you are going to make one hidden variable right that is the type as task definition type and the variable value should be match with your java code type so this is the value i am going to place it as part of my java code so once your template picked there it will be automatically redirect to the here and you are going to define what are the input variables you are going to consume from your front end so target you are right so that is the variable if you remember we we are sending it from our front end right so yeah so let me go here yeah so this this one you need to send it so once you send that right so it will be, these are all the templates coming from uh, your downloader code okay so then the input data class i'm going to create my own class that is api request so the class containing the targeted url whatever fields you want maybe sometime you need to send some of the token some of the credentials whatever it may be right so maybe at run time if you want to do that you can send it out all right so once you send that this code will be by default it is coming so this is the place i am getting my request and where i am going to do the my logic right so if you see here through the connector request api request i can able to get the url right i am just printing the url then what i am doing i am having the rest template right in the rest template i am just sending the url and getting the response and whatever results i am getting that result i am sending as a output from my connector okay so once this is exposed as a output right so you know that as a next step you will have that validator connector response so this is a different job worker which will be available in the different project right so this is my connector but if you open my old project right maybe the demo whatever we discussed right so if i go here i can see that one of the worker name called validate response so here i am going to get the response the worker the response object right so and i am printing here so this response object is coming from your connector obviously okay so maybe if i quickly show you that right so here in the modeler i defined that this should be my variable from my connector variable always response object is my connector variable so that variable i am getting right one second yeah so that variable i am getting right and printing that variable okay so this is what i did it right now let's try to run this one and i will show you so first i am going to run my uh, this worker okay maybe okay let's run the connector first of all okay local random connector to run the connector you know that so in the last video i shown you right so source main source test java local runtime local connector runtime as well as under the resource make sure that you guys are placing that 
these details whatever you already placed it in the spring boot right so okay so now my connector back end is up and running now what i can do so to show you the demo this is the url let me pass it as runtime so this is the open source url right if i hit this url it will give me some response some image location right so some dynamic image is always pinging me so this one i will take it and let me go to the modeler and let me deploy this whole stuff right and let me run it while running i'm going to pass as a variable what is that target url right target url and the url is which i just copy pasted right so before that let me clear the log okay so let me run it okay so now after running let me go to the process instance as well okay meanwhile you can go here and you can see the log right of my connector so so my connector i have the log of executing my connector with request executing my connector with request okay target url yes so whatever url i hitted it is coming and the result is i am printing the response which is coming from the specific url right let me go to the operate yeah so now you can see that target url and response object whatever is generated right so it is waiting for the connector now let me run my spring boot application so where my connector uh, sorry where my job worker is available not a connector a job worker right so once i run that so it should whatever the response here it it i am getting right this object has to printed in my job worker as well that is the expectation right let's let's see that i am just triggering my job worker yes okay so executing my uh, sorry so my worker executing response validation yes and the response whatever is coming from there i can able to see it here right so this is the way you can do any kind of logic this is just a very simple example of connecting some rest url right some rest endpoint but if you want to do some specific hard coded logic or whatever it may be right any kind of system integration anything you can you can do it the same way how the configuration we done it and i shown you here right so hope you understood so if you have any queries on the same feel free to drop a uh, comments i'll reply it as soon as possible okay thanks guys thanks for watching have a nice day bye